Lovable, a platform that allows you to build software with AI in minutes. This brand new feature helps you build amazing looking apps that actually look and feel professional using Figma. If you saw my last video, I discussed a hack that helps you copy user interface components into your projects. Well, this new feature helps you build entire apps using Figma and import them directly into your Lovable projects. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. This should make your app building process much simpler. Imagine this. You have an amazing looking design you created in Figma and you can directly import it into Lovable. Now you can edit your app using AI with Lovable, already having a full template that was made for you. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, I'm inside of Figma here. If you do not know what Figma is, Figma is a platform that allows you to build amazing looking like user interfaces or websites and allows you to customize however you would like. You could use a lot of, you could find different templates on here and essentially just like paste those into your applications to to use that as kind of the infrastructure for your either web application or your website. So I found this one I like. So this is for a furniture company. And as you can see, we have these different pages. So this is an entire website, right? With checkout, we have a contact form, a blog page, all this stuff. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy over this homepage and convert this into code and then import it into a lovable project. And I'm gonna do that now. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to come over to builder.io. The, the link to the, for this will be in the description. Essentially sign up with this and you need to download download a plugin. So go to the app. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come over and click get the Figma plugin. Basically, once you have this connected to your Figma, all you need to do is come back over to your Figma, click on the exact like components or page that you want to copy over into Lovable. For this, I want it to get just to be the homepage. So essentially, it's really important that you come over and click auto layout. So that way it will be laid out correctly. And then next thing that we want to do is come down here and click on this plugin builder.io. So click Click on our plugin here that we just downloaded. And then what we are going to do is we're going to leave this on easy mode for export. Make sure that you have the correct page that you want to copy over to Lovable. And we're gonna export this to code. So essentially this is converting this design on Figma into code. And then after this, I'll show you how you could easily import this into your Lovable application natively through Figma here. All right, and so what, what you'll see now is you will see the layouts. You'll get two options here and we need to make select the layout option that looks better and we think would be better to import into Lovable. So let me look through these real quick. So as I'm taking a look through these, this one looks good. However, it looks like up here, there's some error where it's like, where it's like the logo is not showing properly. And so on this one, this one looks good. Looks great. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with this one. So click on this one. And then next up, what we need to do is click open in Lovable. It'll begin now exporting this over to our Lovable project. And then we could then begin editing this just like we would with any Lovable project. Let me give it a second while it loads here. While this is loading, actually, sorry, I wanna make one, uh, I wanna mention one thing. So you may have seen my previous video that I go over 24s.dev in order to copy and paste different user interface components into your lovable applications. I love that web app. It's just such a cool use case. That video has gotten a lot of, a lot of people have been loving that and getting a ton of value from it. So you may be thinking, well, does this replace that kind of hack that I found? And the answer is no, because Figma is really good at building full kind of frames for your websites or for your apps. But if you still wanna get inspiration via user interface components, you could easily import these into your apps that you built on Figma and then loaded into Lovable. So these tools all work really good together. I and mean, that's why I'm so excited for this new Figma integration along with these other kind of integrations that are coming out for Lovable. So next up, let me click inside of Lovable. Let's launch this project. And just like any Lovable project, you could see it's gonna begin writing the code because builder.io converted this into code that could easily be imported into Lovable. So let's give it a second and then take a look at the output here. Okay, here we go. Looks like we we have our site up and running. This looks great. This looks just like how it looked inside of Figma. You can see we have all of these products here. We have these different categories that we could search through. Obviously this app or this website, these buttons and stuff are not functional. So we need to actually go ahead and go inside Lovable and make this functional. But so far this looks great. All right, guys, there we have it. That is the new Figma integration inside of Lovable. And one thing I wanna mention is this, at the time of this recording, this feature actually has gone live 
live. I actually got early access via the Lovable team to test this out and actually showcase this to you guys since you guys have been really loving my videos on this platform. So one thing I wanna mention is there are some errors with this. It's not perfect every time. Based on my understanding, they're working to actually make this integration work a lot more smooth. So that way, every time you you know have some Figma template or something that you wanna import into your app, it's just basically flawless every time. However, we're not at that case yet. So you might run into a few issues when you're testing this out. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy this hack. Hope it brings you some value. And I hope this kind of changes the way you could build web apps using AI. So that being said, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.